Hey, hello everybody, this is uh, Mohaimen and today we are going to talk uh, about the Quantinum Mechanics Fundamentals according to Valipan's book and we have uh, the example shown here the stress tensor is given by the sigma matrix as shown here, this one and uh, given that sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z equal to 20 and the example is asking us to find the stress if the axis rotates 45 degree around the z-axis and to find the deviatoric stress and also the principal stress so we have the drawing here uh, uh, as it's shown uh, the axis rotates around z-axis so z-axis will be fixed and the x and y will be rotating by 45 degree so the the angle between x and x prime will be 45 degree and between y and y prime will be 45 degree also in order to find any uh, stress after rotating we need to use uh, this equation which is sigma prime which is the stress after rotating equal to matrix of A times the stress matrix which is given times the transpose of A matrix in order to find A matrix we need to do this step here in, in order to find the cosine uh, of the angles so we have x, y, z and x prime, y prime, z prime the angle between x and x prime is 45 degree the angle between y and x prime is 45 degree between z and x prime is 90 between x and y prime is 135 degree and between y and y prime is 45 degree between z and y prime is 90 z prime and x 90 degree between y and z prime is also 90 degree and between z and z prime is zero so the cosine of each angle will be here as shown in the yellow color one over square root of two one over square root of two the cosine of 90 will zero negative one over square root of two so uh, this will give us the cosine matrix which is a matrix as shown here okay so after we find the a matrix we need to uh, substitute this matrix in this equation okay so this is the matrix of stress after rotation so uh, equal to uh, the matrix of a matrix of cosine times the given matrix of stress it's this one which is given in the example times the transpose of a matrix okay so now we need to multiply this matrix times this matrix first and then we continue to multiply the uh, resulted matrix times the times this one okay so now after multiplying this matrix times this matrix we will get this one I think it's very clear if you have any problem with multiplying the matrix you need to refer to uh, tutorial of uh, how to multiply uh, 3 by 3 matrices so the this one is the resulted matrix times the transpose of a matrix which is here we multiply this one by this one first and we got this one then this one we need now to, up to multiply by, by the resulted matrix after multiplying the these two matrices 
you'll get the resulted uh, matrix which is the stress after rotation as you can see it's symmetric matrix if it's not symmetric it means that there is uh, something wrong with the solution so this is uh, just like uh, checking after after you finish the solution if you have uh, a symmetric matrix then your solution is correct if not then you need to go back and find uh, the mistake so now the uh, s sigma x prime which is the normal stress of x after rotation equal to 15 for y prime is 25 for z prime is negative 20 this is the normal stresses and for the uh, shear stresses as you, as you can see here it's 10 for x prime y prime for x prime z prime is 7.07 .07. and for y prime z prime as it's uh, 4.24 so this is the first uh, requirement of the example it's done we find the stress after rotation for 45 degree around the z-axis now we continue for the second requirement which uh, which is asking us about finding the deviatoric stress Okay, the I equations, uh, which is the stress invariance, I1, I2, and I3, these equations is given. But there is something we need to focus on. If the question asking us about only normal stress, then we don't need to include the shear stress we take only the normal stresses as I1, I2 and I3 but uh, if asking us about the stress and didn't mention if it's uh, normal or, or shear stress then we need to include both of them in case if uh, the question asking us about uh, normal stress only then we take the shear stress as zero Now, after calculation, we get I1 equal to 20, I2 is negative 593, and uh, I3 is 6419. We use uh, this invariance in order to substitute in uh, sigma m to get the hydrostatic stress. Hydrostatic stress uh, sigma m equal to I1 over 3 equal to 6.66 we use this value in the diagonal of the matrix to form a 3 by 3 matrix which is sigma m the hydrostatic stress matrix we need this matrix in order to find the total stress total stress equal to the uh, sigma m which is the hydrostatic uh, stress plus sigma prime which is the deviatoric stress so the deviatoric stress should be like this sigma prime equal to sigma minus sigma m so uh, the deviatoric stress equal to the normal stress which is given minus the hydrostatic stress sigma m after calculation uh, we have this 15 is calculated by previously we have uh, the deviatoric stress equal to this matrix uh, 15 minus 6.66 so the normal stress we we get we get already uh, after rotation from the previous requirement number one minus the uh, hydrostatic stress which is 6.66 then we will get the deviatoric stress matrix and this one is the second requirement which is done already now we'll continue to the third requirement 
which is finding the principal stress okay now we continue for the third requirement which is finding the principal stresses in order to find the principal stress we need to apply some equations in order to get the uh, deviatoric invariance uh, to get the value of uh, r and theta then uh, finding the sigma prime in order to find the principal stress so here we have the equations of j2 and j3 by applying the values of i1 i2 and i3 we will get the values of j2 and j3 uh, we use the values of j2 and j3 in order to find r and theta then we apply the values of theta and r in the equations here to find the values of sigma prime 1 and sigma prime 2 and sigma prime 3 in order to check if our solution is correct or not uh, we need to do this step and the result should be uh, 0 or close to 0 if the result is not close to 0 then there is something wrong with the solution and we need to go back and find what is wrong after that to get the principal stresses the principal stress equal to the deviatoric stress plus the uh, hydrostatic stress as mentioned previously sigma prime plus sigma m so uh, sigma 1 equal to sigma 1 prime plus sigma m and sigma 2 equal to sigma 2 prime plus sigma m and sigma 3 equal to sigma 3 prime plus sigma m and we get these values in order to check if our solution is correct or not we need to apply uh, this equation and uh, check if it's correct or not because it, this one is given previously which is equal to 20 so our solution must be 20 or close to 20 so in our case it's 19.96 which is very close to 20 so our solution is correct Thank you so much and if you have any questions you can contact me via my email stated in the descriptions.